you along on the trip. We're gonna go to two, three places. Hey, I'm popping in really quick just to tell you that I'm gonna shop at the two stores that you're getting ready to see right now, but stay tuned all the way to the end because just after I finished shopping at those two stores, my mom texted and said, hey, there's another store in Harrington, Delaware. Let's check it out. So we did that and we're going to visit that store. So watch these two stores in Greenwood first and then stay tuned all the way to the end to watch. <laughs> Not Southern States, but it's another little vintage shop. Um, this one here, it's called Wilderlove and it, it's just newly opened. And I was thinking about it and we'll do a better video of this whole store later, but for now we're just gonna zip in. So anyway, my name is Cindy and I'm with Reinvented Delaware. I'm so glad that you're here. Let's go vintage shopping together. This first booth was actually my vendor booth neighbor at the other store. Her name is Amanda and her shop is called Harper Lillian Home. Look her up on Instagram and you'll find lots of inspiration. This little wooden basket was fun to see. It was one of my makeovers. It was a thrift store find. I added little legs to it, painted it out, and now it's for sale. This ironstone platter was really large and really beautiful. I love that thick stuff. And then there was this piece of pottery right next to it. I'm kind of having regrets for not getting that unique shaped pottery dish. I don't know, what do you think? Should I try to go back and get it? It was so pretty. Here was another piece of ours. We used an old door and we turned it into a shelving unit for our booth and we used it to display antique candle co candles as well as hand turned candle holders that my husband made. He made those stands on a vintage lathe. We would put them there on the shelves and then the customers knew that they could come right there to that corner and find all of the candle supplies. This booth had so many ideas going on. Look at all of the beautiful things that this creator made. I especially loved these bird feeders. They're an old spindle leg from a table and then pie pans on the top. They're just so adorable. I can see these out in the yard. Oh my goodness, I don't know, should I make one for my yard? The back section of the store was set up like a little kitchen, had all sorts of kitchen things, glasses, dishes, sets of dishes, sets of glasses, and then this stack of mismatched plates. A lot of them are flow blue. So beautiful. I would love to have these hanging on my wall. I saw this stack of butter pats and really, what is cuter than a little stack of butter pats? Aren't they the cutest? I love scanning dishes and looking for anything white. And there it is. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is such a pretty piece. It's kind of on the small side. Do you know the name of this kind of dish? Let me know down in the comments if you do. It's really beautiful. I love it. Let's see if I bring it home. This next booth is called the Spruced Goose, and the creator's name is Grace. She was my vendor booth neighbor at the other shop. She's such a sweet girl, and look at the beautiful creations that she comes up with.
Here are a pair of lamps very similar to ones that we just made over here in a video on lamp makeovers. This was great because there was a pair of them. You don't often see a pair of lamps, so when you see them, you really have to grab them. But this, this makeover turned out amazing. And then I saw this one. Oh my goodness. This brass library lamp. Oh, it probably once was an oil lamp converted to an electric lamp. It just beautiful. I, I would have brought this one home. I thought these blue willow plates were so pretty and look at the difference between some of the colors, the color of white in these. So this one here looks very, very aged, but right next to it, look at that. This is all blue willow, but the one there on the left had a beautiful vintage patina to it. So stunning. Oh, I could just see a wall full of plates. In a recent makeovers video, I had two kitchen tools and there was quite a discussion about what one of the tools was. I thought it was a sock darner, but turns out it was a pestle from a mortar and pestle set. So I thought that was really interesting. I saw these two, they were brand new, really beautiful. This woods craftsman here making these beautiful cutting boards and coasters, just all sorts of hand carved bowls, really beautiful artwork from a local artisan. just chatted with the owners and this is actually the store where I used to sell our items. They had recently moved and they're in a new location so that's really cool and I no longer sell my items just because my blog and YouTube have just kept me hopping but you see that they had still had a couple of my pieces in there because I've got some things on commission that I just didn't need it in my house so I left it with them to sell and and that's kind of working but I just chatted with the owners and we've come to the decision that maybe what we should do is a dedicated video about their store and we'll do that in the coming weeks. I'm waiting for them to get up with me and I'll share more about that store. It is definitely one to visit if you are in Greenwood, Delaware. Just across from that store that I was just in, I mean, you saw I stopped for lunch and all, um, is another store. And this is actually where Wilderlove used to be. And when I was a vendor for the most part, this is where I was. I'll flip the camera around and show you this old hardware building. Sorry, I just cut my head off there. Yeah, so we're gonna go inside and see what we can see, but here's the outside of it. It's called Greenwood Treasure Trove now. And it's a pretty big store. It used to be the hardware store here in the downtown area. Let's go see what we can find. You're going to notice that I started to record video on the second floor. There were a lot of people downstairs and I didn't want to disturb. So I was waiting for them to clear out a little bit. And I headed upstairs to show you some of the items that they have upstairs. In fact, when we were vendors at this location, we were upstairs and I used to always say, go all the way upstairs and all the way to the back. There are a lot of stairs and yeah, you'll see here in a minute, just how many stairs. Here is the spot where Reinvented Delaware started. We had a small section about three foot by seven foot and then a whole wall and we sold our goods there. And as time went on, we took over this whole back area. That whole section was ours. We had it chocked full of all sorts of things. There are some nails still in the walls that I put there to hang some of our finds. 
we have so many good memories of this back corner. I, I tell you, I can't tell you how many times I filmed Instagram stories to show our products and just to be here and meet customers that would come and talk to us here. It was a wonderful experience. I enjoyed every bit of those six years. Have you seen these flip tables before? We've seen lots of them, but I've never seen one in the shape of a shield. It's kind of like a crest, like a family crest. I don't know, it's pretty interesting. If you've seen one like this, let me know down in the comments. That was a really good price on this gorgeous oak dresser. It was really a beautiful piece. Now, as I was walking through, I saw some more kitchen item things, and I'm always looking out for measuring cups. I like the ones that are embossed, not printed on, but actually embossed. So I saw this one from Fire King. It was kind of tall, unusual, not like a Pyrex, and I almost got it, but those printed letters, I'm just not a fan of them. And here are those steps. I cannot tell you how many times I've gone up and down these steps with things like dresser drawers and dresser bases and all the good things that we have reinvented and recreated. Signs, small tables, rocking chairs, a farm table, farm benches, dressers, washstands, you name it, we've brought it up and down those stairs. If you ever get your hands on egg beaters like this, grab them. They are a really quick and easy tool to use. I have one in my kitchen and I use it all the time. These small glass bottles were quite a find. They're from a company called LD Caulk and it is a company located in our small town. They make dental supplies for dentists, really quite a big company. And these are old jars that would have been used for their I really don't know what they would have been used for, but this would be quite a treasure for somebody here in our local town. You might have seen our video shopping at the ReStore and we saw a piece very similar to this for half the price. So if you get to shop at a Habitat, get to it because they have great prices there. This little footstool is so cute and I love the idea that it's a pillow on top that's attached to the wood instead of the regular upholstery. I might give this a try. So it kind of stirred some memories going in there because that one far corner that I showed you, in fact, it is right up there. That's where our spot was and I spent many times going up and down those stairs and carrying furniture, carrying loads of stuff. Wow, it's interesting, but it kind of brought, I gotta look what I'm doing here. We have traffic, hang tight. 
So yeah, it kind of stirred an emotional response. Like, I don't know, should I be selling my stuff again? Is that what I'm thinking? Am I just remembering the, the good times of selling that stuff? Running into customers while I was there. They were excited to see, I remember one time I was making a delivery. I delivered every week, every Thursday. And I showed up to make a delivery and a girl came around the corner there at that, in my spot upstairs. And she said to me, are you reinvented Delaware? And it was so funny that she called me by my business name, but she didn't know my name. I just thought it was so cool. It was a good feeling to know that we were making items that people really enjoyed and bought and purchased for their home. And yeah, I don't know. Why did that stir an emotional response? It did, but it was a good one. I mean, that was a season in my life. This is the season that I'm in now and it's all good. So I bought one little thing. That's what I got today. $22. I'm pretty happy with it. It'll go along with the other one. I might have two at home. I don't remember. But yeah, that's what I got today. You know, when you go shopping, you don't have to buy everything you see. It's tempting, but really only buy the pieces that you really, really want. My, one of my daughters taught me that. She said, Mom, I love all the vintage stuff, but my house would be filled if I bought it all. So she said, I'm just going to buy the stuff that I'll use and really, really enjoy. And I have kind of taken on that mantra. Now that I'm not selling our things anymore, I, I have to limit. But I've just kind of taken that on that I only buy the pieces that I really, really love. I really love this. The price was really great. And yeah. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day. Truth is, when your mom texts you and says, I mean, my mom's in her 80s, and she's like, hey, there's another vintage shop. We have to check it out. So that's what we did. We made an arrangement to meet here at this shop. I'm going to go in and check it out. I'm just sat on the front porch, and it already looks amazing. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm inside. You saw the outside. I'm so excited just by the porch of this place. And I happened to grab my good friend, Kathy. She's also my hairdresser. And she is part, are you part owner? Yes. So this is Kathy. We're gonna chat with her in just a second. She's gonna give us some information. And I'm gonna show you more about what's going on in this shop. It's, it's amazing. I've been here five minutes and I'm so excited. So anyway. Okay, Kathy, I've already said your name. Yes. So what is the name of the store? And give us the address. Okay, the name is Old Vintage Trines. Mm -hmm. It's 213 Harrington Avenue, okay. Harrington. It's, uh, if you go across the railroad tracks, you've gone too far. So this used to be Southern States in Harrington. It was a feed mill. And we have converted it. A bunch of women got in here, and we have converted it into something that men didn't have it's like in here we have new electric we have new windows we're so happy about that but this little area here i'm going to make it make a take it place so i have this big table here and we're working on some things right now but we're just going to do small little crafts that's something that you don't want to be bothered with at home but you would love to make take it and learn something new but yet have the mess right here so when I post them, they will be starting in um, soon, but um, I will post them on the Facebook page. Okay, so, so great. So what is the name of the Facebook page that you have? It's Old Vintage Finds. Same name. Yeah, okay, same great. Name. I'm going to grab the link for that. Okay. And I'll put it down in the description. I'm going to leave the address of this shop down yeah. in the description uh -huh. because a lot of you are from Delaware and you want to find this kind of place. Right. I don't think any other vintage shop that I'm aware of has a make it and take it spot. I don't think so. Yeah, so this is pretty unique. This Are you has been gonna... my dream for a long time. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I've done some make it and take it yeah. at her house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but now she's just opened it up for the public. So this yes. is exciting. So yes. thanks a lot. We're going to walk around Thank and show everybody. So All right. Thanks. Talk to you soon.
this store had so much to offer and they're still building out this store. So there are lots of other vendors that are going to be coming and more product, more inventory that they are stocking in. Love this section. This mattress or box springs, excuse me, with the lights on it was just so cute. I can imagine this in a smaller version, maybe hanging underneath of a pergola to create some lighting on a back patio like my patio. <laughs> we'll see if that ever happens. These little corbel uh, dowel rod holders, they were really cute. And you guys know I love children's furniture. Look at this little secretary desk. So cute. I loved it. I fell in love with this crib part. Now there are two other parts to this crib elsewhere in the store, but I would take this and I would use it in my garden as a place like a trellis for flowers to grow up on it. The shop also had hand poured soy candles in all sorts of scents and really cute little jars and handmade soaps also, just so cute. I love seeing handmade things. I came around the corner and I saw these two chairs. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen a chair like that? I never have. I don't think I want them in my house, but they sure were fun to look at. Now this old desk, I couldn't get in there really good to get a video of it, but it lifts up. It's just an old desk. It's a little two-seater with like a little bench. Just so adorable. I have no idea where I'd put that, but it sure is cute. All right, so of course I saw my sister and my mom here. You guys know this sister, like she hangs out with me with thrifting all the time. And we're over here looking at this one piece. She has a great idea. I'm gonna let her tell you about it. So what'd you find here, Laurie? What, what is this? Well, this looks like it's a box spring. Ooh, maybe um, from a crib? From a crib, yeah, okay. from a crib. Yeah, I think you're right, from a crib. Mm -hmm. I would hang this on the wall, like in the kitchen, if you had the space, and mm -hmm. hang pots and pans on it. Oh my gosh, so, I want to do that. I love the the, um, the rusted and yeah. the painted sides. Let's look at that, it's nice and um, rusted. It's, it's very sturdy. Mm -hmm. I love the springs across the top, but that's very what cool. I would do with that, that piece right there. Nice.
So my mom and sister and I are out on the porch and we're just looking at some stuff. Mom, what are you seeing that you love in here? Oh, I like, I like these here and I'm looking for, I like the tables that they have. Uh-huh. I like that stool. Oh, what stool? This one here? Right Didn't you have one? I think yes. it was green. I had one there. Uh, it was red and white. Red and white, okay. I believe it was red and white and had a leather a leather top. Oh, that's so cool. I remember, I can't move it, but I remember one in your kitchen yeah. when I was a little girl. When we were in the double wide. Yep. So, Laurie, what are you getting pictures of? Like, well, look at this. I see this um, plant stand. Oh. Because, and, and I've got some wood in my backyard. Yeah, what, what are these? Like a one by? That, that's a, that's a um, two by. Two by. Six, I think. A two by six, so okay. Two by six or two by, um, two by eight. That's hard back looking at the bike i really did like this bike here as i was walking through i can kind of see a little basket hanging right here for my gardens and oh it's got a little oh it's a milford license plate that's so cool 1977 oh that's cute i love it yeah and it looks really good i'd love to get her something but i don't know what to i haven't found the right thing yet to for her new Okay, so we all we all got some goodies. Mom, I don't think you got anything this time, did you? I, I, I've got my mind on something. You got your mind on something. Yeah. Lori got some stuff. What did you get? So I got four of these. Okay. This, I'm going to hang this on the wall like this. Yeah. So I have, Mom, hold on. I have <laughs> dowel rods that go in here. <laughs> did you catch that? <laughs> I got dowel rods that's going to go in here. Okay. And it's going to be, cur it's going to hold up curtains. Oh, I love that. I love that. So they don't, so you'll really see that. It'll yeah, be very nice. And what and else did you get? This is some kind of a pot. I don't know what it was used for. Anybody can tell me. I don't know what it was used Ooh, for. Oh, okay. It feels like it's aluminum, but it's, it's really heavy. Yeah, galvanized. Then, that's going to be, huh? Is it galvanized? No, maybe you're right. It is aluminum. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. galvanized. And I'm going to, uh, it's going to be a planter that I can hang. Okay. Where are you going to hang it? Outside. <laughs> Outside. I don't know that I can hang anywhere. Anyway, I think we're going to go grab some lunch. I'll pop in some pictures of the two things that I got here. We're going for lunch. I don't know where we're going, but thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.